Hey, g'day guys, uh, my daily scan. So I'm just going to go through a short list. Uh, Shit Purp is the one at the moment. Looking like you want to break out from this formation. What we have is ILOs along the way. And, and we've got the enough touches as well. So it's meeting our requirements. MACD is confluent, reflecting or com convergence, reflecting price. So it's looking good. And so we'll look for the breakout and then trade that. And uh, if it was a triangle, um, minimum will be that one there. That will be the height for the minimum. Now, if you look across to the left, I don't think you see anything that's holding back. Let's see. Yeah, so that, that area, as I said, that's a minimum and that's a maximum. So let's have a quick look where to take profit. And the other one was right here. Right. So that makes sense. Confluence with previous price action. So back to the 30 minutes. And uh, where, where did my prices, prices go? Just add those on. Obviously, the minutes is what is not on. Small, small, short range trade. A little less is still a trade. So, I think it'll break out soon. And what you do is you put your stop loss under there. Hello, actually, let's do it properly. Ideally, you put your stop loss there. I'm going to put it under here, under these moving averages. I'm going to do the 30 minute, put my stop loss there, and give us, if it pulls back a bit, at least I have some room. Ideally, you put it under this Fibonacci there. Or, let's see, actually put your stop loss underneath. That one's better. Just there. That's what I got for that. So I'm moving on to XMR. Okay, so XMR, what do I have? So XMR, looking at that, what is it, the four hour? Yep, another four hour. And uh, yeah, so if we find support there, because we've got previous resistance here. So this this should likely to be acting as support. Just going to look for the bullish candle. We're still in our three hours and so, so we can wait for that. Moving on, looking at FTM. FTM. I'm in on in this trade already, but let's see. Uh, oh, it's breaking all time high. You know that. So that that could be. Well, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what it could be. If if there was a pullback, there's two levels I'll be interested in. One's I'll use the body of the candle there. This is a four hour. <coughs> so that's definitely a bullish candle. So if it pulls back down to this level, I'll be interested. And let's do, yep, that white line, I'll be interested in that. If it pulls deeper, even better to the 170. So there's a the 10 and a 20 moving average. <coughs> let's see if we've got double. Yeah, so yeah, that, there's two levels here. If it pulls back here, or further deep, deeper, the better. Um, but if it pulls back deeper, we might just we might actually go that way there because it will break down the all-time high. So yeah, I'll leave it at the top if it pulls back. But um, there's nothing that's really telling us it's going to pull back anytime soon. Next month. Is Sol. Let's look at Sol. Okay, 
aqui, olha só o... Yeah, so looking at so that's uh, the support level I'm looking at, and uh, basically looking for a bullish candle after this. And uh, at the moment, everything's still below negative. I like to see this indicator move to the upside. So basically, what it's requiring is a bullish candle. We've got the momentum indicator going up, but the RSI is not turning around. Just give it more time, um, another 12 hours, and then we'll look at it again. Um, dot. Let's have a look. Okay, so dot perp. What we have seen here is pretty much a move from this triangle. So by by that I'm thinking it it has moved to the upside. So it, it's likely to do a, a trend. So let's look at the small time frame. Um, four hours not really the best, but if I if it was to move down, I would be looking down at this level here as part of the 10 and 20 moving average as well. And yeah, the 0.382. So if this was a pullback deeper, I'll, I'll be having a, look, having a look at that as well. So there's no setup there yet. We want to feed up. Feed up, okay. So, more to feed up per for more history. So, feed is pretty much like the others. Um, so, this, this prior resistance is actually not support. So, again, another. Another opportunity to see if this continues on as an uptrend. So I do see this level of interest. So we've seen a few weeks, but we don't see the momentum moving to the upside yet. So just checking on the four hour, nothing there definitely yet. So let's continue on. Luna. So Luna's got a bit of a trend going, maybe a bit too late for that one. So that's that's a level, it's already bounced. So we pretty much missed that one. And let's just see how that measures up. So looking at Luna, it's already had a nice bounce. So um, it's up to you. But this is what I'm looking at. It's all-time high. So this is this is really looking really good. New price discovery mode. I think. Let's have a look at the weekly. Yeah. So um, so that's on Binance, and I think that yeah. So Luna is going up. New price discovery. So I missed that one there. Rem, actually, yeah, what was it that one just broke out again? Uh, Sol, no, no, it wasn't Sol. Sol on my chart. Where is it, where is it? AG, LD, bummer. GDLD is just broken up on a small time frame. Yeah, so keep an eye on that. Having that level. Problem is, we don't want to see a big, big candle. It's going to be hard to try, um, try this one. Um, and that, that looks like a big momentum as well. So it might just continue to go on. So let's have a look at look at the small time frame. So that's a big move. Very, very uh, so that that's that that's just gonna go, I think. Let's have a look. That 
that could go break through. Mm. Okay, let's move on to the next. Okay, um, I just got distracted with ship perp and uh, EGLD, so let's continue on. Um, so we did look at Luna, didn't we? Did we look at Luna, that's right, Luna is doing an all time high and um, nothing there to trade at the moment. Let's look on to REM. Rand, sorry, Burp. Ren. <laughs> that says that confluence of support, and um, still, I still like that previous high. I think has support. And if that's got any confluence across, yes, it does. So previous support, this could potentially go up. And I'm um, just looking for a bullish sign. The red RSI is almost over. What's this, the four hour? So the red RSI will be nice to go above. So what basically we're looking for is a blue, um, a, a bullish candle of some sort. Um, realistically, like these over here with the MACD, we've got We've got the crossovers. We, we want to see that with the bullish candle. That's basically what I'll do. So um, REM's looking good. The MACD is looking good. Let's look on the 8 hour time frame. And uh, 8 hours is pretty much same. Looking at the same scenario, but a bit, bit too late then. I think the, the 6 hour. Yep, the 4 or the 6 hour will do it. There's nothing there yet. Bit of a bullish candle. No. Just a few combinations, but it doesn't look strong. I, I am looking for actually might. We might want to see that bullish candle break that level there. So if we see a bullish candle break that level, that'll be a good sign. All right, let's move on to SC perp. Okay, so SC perp. Hmm. That look like a an area. Actually, that that's not bad. MACD is looking good. It's actually a nice, nice entry. So that if you want to take that, I think that looks good. That was a big rejection, and. Uh, so let's have a look at something else. Just add this on, just to validate we're not below or above. Okay, so we're right. Yeah, so we're right underneath. But this is underneath, and so it's looking like support. Beautiful. I think that's a good entry. You see, per. Right, move on to the next. I like to see that candle close. Uh, we're on the oh, six hour. Okay. Six hour, yeah. I think that's a good entry. We've only got a few minutes left, so. Oh, sorry, that's five hours. Uh, uh, uh. It's not going to be something that, something that just breaks up, but um, I, I think that's a good trade to jump in. And we covered shit perp. Um, let's look at the last one. I did cover shit perp tonight. Yes, I did. Probably. So, ship work is looking to break up. Um, if we could get a crossover, even better. So, right now at the 30 minute line, I was getting distracted. I've entered this trade. And now we're going to look at um, see if we can go, keep going up. And my son's coming in. All right, I'm just going to finish it off here. My old wifey. <laughs> Go away, son. Get bored. Okay, so we, we're looking for that build up for that breakout trade there. 
similar to shit perp, we're having, we're having uh, higher lows. So this this is our number one, number two. Third touch is what's going taking place. So we would like to see uh, potentially a little smaller one, even better, and then break out. So that, that's we've got the phoenix in in order. We've got the moving averages in order. Everything's looking good, and I'll use a thirty minute one just like shipper and. Um, Last one, actually, we're going to look at Bitcoin as well. Let's just look at Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin doing? Okay, Bitcoin. I had this with Bitcoin, and I still think it's it's a good good spot to buy at, the, at this point. Hold on, where you go? There you go. That's the one. The trend line is telling me ever ever so slightly. It, it look it's looking good. Look. If this trend line wasn't here, see that? That responded to it. And now it's responding to it. So this trend line is telling me it's relevant. And I think it will just continue and then up some formation. So um, it's not going to rush, but I think it's going to continue to hold that. We might have a, a breakout trade as well. So there's a few things that happen there. And uh, I don't think it's going to drop any lower. All right. And let me look at the last one. And the other one, the last one was JST. It's not perp, it's a JST. Right. So JST, we're looking at the two hour. And yeah, make, make these in order. So we're just looking for that pullback. And let's see where's a good level. So that's a good level there. And that would be a bit too deep. And so we need to use a Fibonacci. Yep, so actually I might just use it on this one here. That level there. It's right in between. So this level. So there's somewhere around there will be nice. So it's still got a bit of work to do. So I'll leave it there. I'm going to post this up and I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.